What is good? What is great? Boons is in the garage trying to live stream. Trying. Trying. Got her to work, but I had to go through my, uh, my stream labs. Tried to connect through the normal YouTube, couldn't figure it out. So, still too green. But, how's everybody doing today? As you're coming in the room. Need to spray down this. Uh, put all my tools out of reach here. There we go. Gotta loop up the pins before I pull it. Rigger might be the, the best time to go live, if I am really live, and I'm live, to pull your pin live. So, see who comes in watch this is another dude pull his pin live. Figured that'd be funny. Right on. In my thumbnail, you can see the pin. Then there's this little locker with uh, an Allen key. I couldn't get all the Allen keys out, so I have to drill it out right now. That's the plan. Just drill the, the drill the Allen key out, get one pin out, then I have two new pins under the seat. And then I'll get two new replacement pins once I put those two pins in, so that's my plan. What's going on, Ali Mac? Just because of you, brother. I think I got it. Maybe not. Uh -huh. Thought maybe you were my luck, lucky Irish uh, charm here. Nope. Still going to have to drill them out. Figured I'd do a live to see how uh, everybody likes uh, another guy pulling his pin live. See if that's funny. What's going on? How you doing, brother? Oh, I want to get my tracks off, and uh, these are my ice cleats. I want to make new ice cleats for them. For next year. So I'm on top of the game. But all the pins are like six inch sections, and then a pin. All my pins are seized. And then there's a, like a sleeve with a counter pin. I can't get the Allen keys out of those pins, so. G'day, Puska Outdoors. What am I going for? Drill bits. Oh, and I got myself all nice and cramped up for you guys. But figured this would be the best way to do it. And I was going to make a video on it, but I... Decided not to. That might be the one.
see there. Trying to push up on it. Yeah, I oiled her up pretty good there before I started. I think my problem was uh, going along with uh, crappy Allen keys. Don't have any good Allen keys, so I ended up stripping out not just my bolt, but the the head of all the Allen keys. Trying to get out. Uh, trying to get these out. That's why I'm drilling them out. And, no, these are plastic tracks. Oh, that's why you love the plastic ones? Yeah. Yeah, I know. The rubber ones are way better. Those are Diderons. That's what I'd like to upgrade or build my own. Would be better. I'd like to build my own Argo. Straight from scratch. All hydraulic uh, propelled. Instead of chain driven. It's hydraulic motors. So, I had a lot of uh, Argos over the years. This is my third, third one, third Argo. That's a bigger bit. Well, I used to have one. Um, I'm a Canadian boy. And now, where is it? Out west. On BC. It was BC Hydro. I ended up building a, an Argo with a VW engine. It was all steel. And ended up uh, twisting the axles. The axles that come out, twisted all the axles, uh, you put pins in it, you put bolts in it. We had two inch, uh, two inch axles and they, it would just twist and it was so, so torquey that uh, we never had, we never could get it to, to run right with the V-Dub. Now with the, the new Predator engines, that, that thing would be uh, probably kick ass with a Predator engine in it now, instead of the VW. All I'm saying is I had issues. Making our way. Outer lip is damn strong. Ooh, new drill bits. New drill bits would be nice. This one looked brand new. Yeah, it is too much torque. Was too much torque. Yeah, it's always the operator. Come on, bro. Never, 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 never let a ginger test drive your stuff. We'll figure out what breaks. Yeah, I have an old video uh, that I put together. It's mostly all pictures. Forget the name of it. Either one person is it one percent of my hunting success? No, I don't think that's it. There's another video I made. I showed all the Argos that I had. It was in it too, and from day one, I think uh, it was my dad that bought it originally. He must have sank a few thousand dollars into it, and like I said, we ended up getting rid of it. Uh, 
It was a piece of shit when we got it, and it was a piece of shit when we got rid of it, so. Oh, you don't know how to make it stronger or how to make things last until you break them, so. I've been ice fishing with this machine, and it was, was it this axle? Yeah, this axle. Um, the bearing for the axle ended up seizing around the, the shaft. She didn't want to turn. So what happened was, instead of the axle, the axle ended up seizing, but it snapped the chain. When the chain snapped, it wrapped around the back axle. Then I didn't have this, the back tire as drive. It became like a parking brake. It ended up, the train locked all up with the, with the spline on the inside and it uh, stopped me from getting off the ice. And I was about an hour and a half Argo ride back to uh, the vehicle. Thought it'd be easier to get into this. No, I made it out. So there is no ouch. There was no spend in the night. I've done that before. Snap the main uh, main drive axle. This was in our. I had the steel one. I had a 1983, and then this one's a 2005, so, but with our 83, because it was, uh, you'd have your, your main axle going through your, your sprockets, oh, I don't have any here, I thought they were right here, they're in my, anyways goes through your sprockets, okay? And then there's two sleeves at the end of your sprocket with holes in it. They had pins in there, shear pins. That was the shittiest design ever. You'd have to change your pins two, three times a year just to make sure you wouldn't be changing pins when you didn't want to. Because as soon as a uh, little bit of age and rust and they would snap once a year, man, every time we went moose hunting. We would be snapping pins, getting into our hunting cabin and uh, the adventures. Of course, I don't have a quarter inch. Go big or go home. Oh, it's small engine stuff. A lot of people uh, see these machines go and I'm knocking down trees and pulling out thousand pound mooses and they think that there's a big V8 in there. There's a lawnmower engine in it. So. Yeah, every machine has their weak points. That is true. No, but what I'm saying is compared to my 1983, compared to this one, I've had less uh, with the axles. I've never bent an axle on this machine, knock on wood. Um, the only issue I had was coming off the lake one time, like I said, the chain wrapped around and became like a parking brake back here. So until I unwrapped the chain and, uh, I was glad I've snapped axles and had to, uh, come out, uh, like a four by four, take the tracks right off and What's going on, Colorado Fisher? Farmer Mall fanatic, what's going on? How was your hunting season, Farmer Mall? There we go. Big difference. What a good brand new drill bit. a little bit to do oh there's the man gear stalkers 
I'm not on the normal... Most of you guys need to become uh, moderators if you're not already. I'm on the Streamlabs, so... Couldn't figure out how to get it to work on the YouTube front. I had everything all time... Like, scheduled, ready to go. Went to go hit the button. I didn't want to cooperate with me. Right on, brother. You got meat for the freezer farm all. And these times, we all need that. Wish I had a deer this year. By the way, it's spinning. I think I can bang it out. Then I just drive the machine forward. It'll come off the tracks itself. And then... Uh, one of these videos, I'm going to be redoing my, my cleats again. So I won't be getting stuck. I won't be spinning. See what we can do. Oh, there's too many yotes where I am right now. I seen three coyotes. And shot out a wolf, missed it. A uh, big black one, all black. It would have been nice to make a rug out of. But uh, I think I need to start doing yo uh, coyote hunting next year. Start getting those out of my, my area if they let us. Right now, uh, my friend, we all know Rocco, passion from hunting. He sent me an email stating that they're going to shut down our hunting and fishing regulations until 2021. So they're trying to get rid of or stop us from going out hunting and fishing. Which, when you go out hunting and fishing, you're isolated. I don't understand. I was so sick during my moose hunt, it wasn't a fun hunt. Uh, the two times I decided to stay home, moose came out. Proves uh, how sick I was. Yeah, those darn coyotes, bud. You don't manage. It's all about management. People are going to find out. It's like I said that. Uh, I said that too. If they're going to shut down all the all the hunting and fishing, you're going to find out with uh, the animals rebounding and farmers complaining even more about deers eating their crops. You know what I mean? So, Hey, Jake Ramsey. I need to get a pin and a hammer. Hammer should be... That's good enough for me. I'm not going to struggle. I'm going to back the Argo up a little bit. We get to go for a ride. Oh. Yes, I got my outboard motor on the back of the Argo. I want to go fishing. That's why I want to take off the tracks, wait for the ice to melt. I want to take off my cabane. I was doing that too here you guys over here for a second now better lighting you'll be able to see it's hammer time yeah it will be it will be Have more room to work. 
Hope you all cracked up now. this all done before the stream started but what can you do better better angle and entertainment Got her. I'll lower you down a little bit. Normally, people don't do that. Aussie outline here. Hey, my brother. I'm on the Streamlabs right now, but uh, you're going to become blue right after. Don't worry. Don't worry. I take care of all you good guys. Back at it. Just had to move the machine a little bit so I can get my, my pin to come through. Hammer time. Good day, Elaine. How are you? I know I probably butcher your name, but uh, I'm Canadian, so sorry. That's what I'm looking for. Drill some more. Keep on drilling, it's going to snap. Be easier to take out. I'm in Ottawa, bud. Good old nation's capital. Ottawa, Ontario. I'm like uh, half an hour from uh, anywhere. Any kind of good fishing, hunting. My moose hunt was 30 minutes from my front door. And I live in a big city. I wish I owned most of Canada, bud. We'd be going hunting. I need some real uh, punches. Hang on. Cock shot. You came here to watch a man pull his pin anyway, so you guys get the cock shot. Big my part. Where are my punches? I got a whole punch kit somewhere. Uh, little 
chunk of pin. That's too long, see? I need like half of that. Can I get power out of here? Nope. Back to the chat. Your nephew lives out in Alberta. Alberta is nice. A lot less people than uh, Ontario. I think I'm all cut up. You're in Ohio there, Jake Ramsey. Man, I started doing the, the t-shirt thing and the conversion rate on the Canadian dollar compared to the American dollar is crazy, man. On a $20 purchase, you're paying an extra $10 in the Canadian peso. Lighting looks a little weird here. Still looks weird. Whatever. Okay, you married uh, Alas from there. I love the way uh, you guys talk, bud. I get compliments all the time about my accent, but it's not, uh, I'm trying to look for another pin that's shorter. Keep on doing what I'm doing. Might come off. How's everybody dealing with that Corona bullshit? Hope everybody's trying to be safe. I'm trying. I'm out here doing my thing. I got my buddies phoning me up going cabin crazy already. And it's like, well, it's what I do all winter. I'm a seasonal worker, so work hasn't, doesn't really start until all the snow uh, clears away. Is it moving? Nope. Not in the best position anyways. Used to, I'm a roofer, so smashing the fingers is nothing. That's an everyday thing for a roofer. So I just did it. But uh, having troubles here. You, I say A hey, a lot, eh? It's the Canadian way, eh? A is like going, um, um. You know, when you see those videos and everybody's, um, they're trying to figure out what to say. A is, that's the Canadian way of going on. 11 days. Back to work Thursday. Yeah, I can't wait to go back to work, bro. Here were some good hits here. Hang on. I'm tired of struggling. Think smarter than work harder. Shit, man. Let's go. Oh, 
Um, welcome to the shed. Ian Matthews is a good shit. I like him. I think he was trying to bust my balls there for a little bit, but then he figured out I'm a ball buster, so. It's hard to bust a ball buster's balls. It's hard to hustle a hustler. That's the pin that should be in there. So. I don't have much whacking room. See, it's already been cut out before this pin. What I should do is just break. Just see me snap a steel rod in half by hand. Whack it with, I am whacking it with a hammer. Fucking too much Viagra on this pin, man. It's too stiff. Doesn't want to come out. Now I'll get her. Watch out. I'm gonna get down and dirty. Ain't going. I fucking seized. That's tighter than a nun's twat. I'll drill it until it snaps. And then talk to you guys. No, it's not the tire pressure on the on the pin, I don't think. My tracks are loose. So they're old. Old and used. And yes, I did forget about dropping the tire pressure, bro. I'm here for you guys' entertainment. Well, you're supposed to take out all the, the tire pressure when you do your tracks. It's just I want to move it forward, so I'm trying to split it apart without it. And I put my tracks on in a way that nobody else has ever seen before. Without splitting the tracks. None bums. Tight as none bums. Oh, she's tight. She's tight. Keep on buying those things that take the, uh, why do I have a brain fart right now? The inside of the valve stem. There's an actual name for that little thing that screws in that you push on. Well, I bought in three screwdrivers to take that out. I keep on putting them somewhere in the house and they keep on growing legs and I think getting thrown in the garbage. So. I have no clue where I, I, I put them when I come home after. And then I go looking for them, and of course, you can never find them. It's everybody's life. Uh, looking for a tool that they bought and don't know where they put. Yeah, I'm trying to take the valve out. Or I just explained. Yeah, you got me. Again. 
The cunt is still not moving. Well, this ain't being monetized, but I don't give a shit. None of my live streams will. Oh. Got my shoe. Yeah, the caps that have the little tool at the end of it. The steel caps. I had those caps on the uh, the steel Ergo, believe it or not. take the grinder to the shit soon. come off in two seconds there the, the grinder is coming out no wine is struggling for a little bit I'm trying to do it the right way but smash my hand grinder time Grease or, uh, why do we keep on fucking getting stoner memory blocks? Vaseline works. That's what I was thinking. Don't have any Vaseline jokes. Think I should with a guy pulling his pin, but. Well, I'm gonna take out the grinder. Zip, zip. Probably cut into the track a little bit. Son of a bitch. Dremel when it work. I don't know. A dremel, dremel, dremel might work. But you heard the grinder? Yeah, I know. I'm deaf in one ear, eh, bud? So I'll start talking one way. And then it's like, no. You can't hear me talk no more. So me editing videos has been quite the fucking uh, challenge, my friend. Let's get the grinder. I don't know why this don't have power. can find the safety glasses I'll put them on if not I don't care yeah. 
everything's in our reach. This work's gonna go up. Where's the mute button on this? There is one. So new to this shit, man. Nope. Hi. I seen it before I started streaming. Now it went away. Of course. Kind of want to mute this part, but whatever. some score marks. Didn't hit the tire, that's good. You want to get shit done, you don't think uh, 10 steps ahead of most of the time. I never even thought about that. Hitting the tire. Saved a hundred bucks right there. Grind away, I'm done grinding, bud. Yeah, I got my safety glasses. I'm trying. I don't need them. Been welding and grinding for... Half my life, so. Used to work in a, an aluminum dock for an aluminum dock and deck company. Well, let's uh, try to get these pins out. Hopefully, it was just the stopper. Unproductive. I don't need the longer one. See in the video that shit would have been ended up. I just put in a pin in and take out a pin. All rusty like shit. I'll be back in a second. One side, one more side to do. I took enough. I'm just gonna cut the other side with the grinder, no fucking around. Just a quart for the paint on my van. I have gold paint. 300 a quart. I can imagine what a quarter panel would be. Yeah, we ended up getting a little Toyota Corolla. It's my second Corolla I have. Uh, 1991 Toyota Corolla. That had two, three hundred, three hundred 
300,000 before I got rid of it. Kilometers, eh? Not miles. Kilometers. Right on. Not that much damage done to the track either, so. Maybe right here a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I shaved down the... I need new tracks, period. These ones are well used, man. Probably be... Uh... If I would have went out ice fishing a lot this year, it probably would have been the last year for these tracks. But next year, I'll probably get one more year out of them and... I'm going to beat the shit out of them. I'll have a trailer. I don't have a trailer for the Argo right now, so. Thumbs up, bud. It's always nice, but I'm not, uh, I'm not going to preach for it. I won't preach it. I try not to do it so much. I just started to uh, hit the subscribe button and all that shit in, in my videos, so. I spent a year staying away from all that. You're going to subscribe. You're going to hit the thumbs up because you want to. Not because somebody asked you to. Or... Don't get me going. Got my own outlook on uh, how I'm going to grow my channel. Because it's my channel. That's what everybody else needs to, to do the same. I know, content is great. You gotta have content. You don't have content. Uh... Ooh, that's melting. Need to get on to the next one. And then in another day or two. Me, it's all like life organization. Somebody broke into my van, left the, the battery or the door open, the light went dead, I need a new battery for my for my vehicle. It's parked right in front of my garage. I can't get the Argo out of the garage until well, I can push it away. But wait th two, three days, get a battery and move the van around. See, that's what I want, Ali Mac. That's exactly what I want. You don't like the content, you don't have to be here. You don't like me rolling around and showing cock shots every time I get, you don't have to be here. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Section eight outdoors, how's it going? You made two of the GoPro holders right on bro. It's simple, man. It's something, fuck, you can't even go out and buy the shit. The watch. I have another design there for, uh, for, um, a downrigger. A hand-operated downrigger that I use a lot for trout fishing. Build one for 20 bucks. I'm not joking. You won't need a welder, too. I'll show you how to build it without a welder. So, that's a... A video upcoming. I don't like to usually spill out my ideas, but whatever. Man, my battery's going dead. I'm trying. I learned from my comments, pretty much. Not just that, I learned from the pros. Brian G. Johnson, Nick Nimmons, uh, been watching a lot of his little brother, D. Nimmons, lately because I'm a mobile-only creator. I edit, uh, film, I film all my time lapses with my phone. I started off filming everything with the phone, but the GoPro does a little bit better job in the right lighting conditions. We all know if you film with a GoPro at night, uh, it's sometimes hard. And then from watching a lot of other 1 million subscriber channels that don't explain nothing. They just go off and build an ATV. And they build this and they build that. 
and they don't explain fuck all. That's not what I want to do. I want to be able... The more I can explain, the more I help. And even in my comments, that's what's kind of driven me away from just doing fishing and hunting videos. The more I'm able to help somebody else out, better off I feel about myself and about what I'm doing here on the channel. An S7, go or a GoPro Extreme. As long as it's okay, it doesn't matter what you film with. I started off with the phone, and I looked back at some of the older the uh, footage, and especially when I was using the right programs, like I have a DJI Mo Mobile uh, Osmo Mobile Gimbal. That uh, that helped out a lot. It has action tracking. Let's say if I lock it on my hand and I go like this, it'll it'll camera will move around. It'll follow my hand around. So that was recommended by a big channel. Why can't I remember his name? Anyways, me and my brain farts. It's fun and, uh, oh, Ali Max question. This is something I don't do is, uh, read out, uh, a person's name and then all their comment and I go straight to the comment and try to answer the question, which isn't, I'm doing it backwards. I'm doing it Canadian, eh? So don't worry about it. Ali Max, uh, card mechanic by trade. He likes doing up for, doing up cars and it's fun. Also make a good little profit, bro. When you know what you're doing. We all need better stuff in life, but life doesn't let us. Yeah, the better, especially better tools. Better tools help a lot. I know that. All my tools are, these are uh, like the Canadian cheap brand from what we call Canadian Tire. I don't know if you see that there. Most of my tools are blue. I buy them when they're cheap, cheap, cheap on sale. But they get the job done. Just when you go into drill bits and cutting discs. Cutting discs you don't want to cheap out on. Drill bits you don't want to cheap out on. The actual tool that makes the the real tool work shouldn't matter. Your drill, your grinder, your skill saw, saws, all that shit. The actual blades is what you don't want to cheap out on. That's why I'm out here, bro. I, I like doing this stuff. I'd rather do this stuff than try to figure out how to make an outdoor fishing video and then the wind it's a windy day and it really screws up your you to go and try to edit and it doesn't pan out you know i have more control out of the environment i'm filming out of now than filming outside that's why it could get dark or it is getting dark and the lighting's not going to change i got my umbrella light over there and i got a One of these mechanic lights that I use as uh, my camera light pointed at me instead. It's got a magnet at the end. I usually stick that anywhere on my tripod. Uh, yeah, I seen that video. Your grinder from uh, from Ian Matthews.
Yeah, I'm getting, I gotta shut the stream off from, well, it gave me a 20 cent battery, and I didn't bring out a battery pack, and I even thought about that. Been going for 55 minutes, so. I got my one side off, I'll jump on the other side, finish that off, and then I'm gonna go in the house, start supper. Uh, Ian Matthews is a good lad. You can tell when the when the good people are out there. So you're a good one too, there, Ali Mac. Known you for a long time now, bro. Long time. Puska Outdoors is, I think, the one I met a month ago, and he's got an Argo too. So. Hunting doesn't, uh, they're going to shut down hunting in uh, in Canada for a year or two. There will be no more hunting and fishing. So. Sucks for us. The good thing I'm kind of changed my channel around to a DIY channel. But it's the comments. It's all the comments. Get the right kind of comments, uh, pushes you to... I'm not getting the views, though, but I don't care about the views. As long as I'm helping people. You can all check each other out on the way out the door, and we'll be shutting this down shortly. Yeah, I'm getting a 10% battery reading now, so... Might be time to shut this down. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun, but whatever. Our government's taking it seriously. Not that nobody else's government isn't. It's uh, probably being a little anal about things. You go into our grocery stores, it's all painted. You follow the line like a racetrack. You got to stay in between your lines. And if not, you can get arrested. Hey, JS Catfishing. How's it going, brother? Yeah, I'll be uh, doing a few more lives there. I want to do more explaining about the channel. See if I can help you guys out with analytics. This, that, the next thing. I'm pretty good with that shit, so. Hey, Ralph. How's it going? I was just about to shut her down. Got 10% left on the battery on the phone. It's my first legitimate uh, live stream. Of course, it has to be me pulling my pin. What a guy. I'm probably going to shut her down. Catch everybody in the next one.